Hey there, it's Dr. Jim. Thanks for taking some time out of your busy day to see what's going on over here with my mind and my research and everything else at Dr. Jim Collins. Um, I have a great article. At, well, as a matter of fact, I've written a ton lately and um, just went into this deep research mode in um, a number, a wide variety of topics that I'm, that I'm always interested in researching. So I'm taking a deeper dive, in particular, in the world of CBD, I'm, I'm fascinated with, I'm not, a, I'm not a chemist and I'm not a biologist, but I, I just am very fascinated at how CBD works in the body, how it um, works with uh, receptor sites and amino acids and ion channels and all of these phenomenal things. It's like this chemical bioactive cascade that's going on. So... You know, I've been researching CBD for so long and will continue to do so, but I've also become very interested in three more molecules, CBC, CBG, and CBN, and that's the title of my article, More Promising Hemp-Derived Molecules. So let's dive right on in. Although CBD has taken center stage in the medical hemp and the cannabis world for a long time now, there are other very important molecules that are gaining attention of researchers and consumers alike. They are CBC, CBG, and CBN, and each one of these molecules has been found to have positive effects on health and wellness. So I I've, I've read all of these articles and I'm, and I'm highlighting and I'm cross-referencing and I'm getting a headache <laughs> because um, it's very, very complicated stuff. But what I want to bring to you is the simplicity of it. CBC, what is it? Think of it as the central nervous system regenerator. And that's a phenomenal thing. Research has identified some very compelling findings on CBC's ability to both protect and regenerate the nervous system. Some researchers actually call CBC a neurogenesis enhancer, meaning that it, it enables stem cells to sustain their sustainability and maturation in the hippocampus, the spinal cord, the brain stem, and other brain regions responsible for muscle control and movement. Think about movement disorders like Parkinson's. Okay, CBG. What's the bottom line with this molecule? It is being called the mother of all cannabinoids. CBG is actually considered to be the bridge between THC and CBD and has been shown to do some really miraculous things in research. It reduces inflammation and pain. It reduces anxiety and depression, and it helps with sleep problems. It's called the mother of all cannabinoids for a good reason, because it's the acidic precursor. It's CBGA. Um, and this uh, acidic precursor is also the, precur the precursor to THC, CBD, and other cannabinoids. It's the forerunning cannabinoid that becomes other cannabinoids. In other words, it converts into THC, CBD, and other cannabinoids and has been shown to also be effective for inflammatory bowel diseases, glaucoma, mood disorders, nerve pain. Think about neuropathy. I have a lot of clients with neuropathy. Multiple sclerosis, ALS, dementia, psoriasis, and autism. CBN. What is this and what does it do? CBN was actually discovered in 1896. Isn't that crazy? Despite this, it has been downplayed as a less valuable molecule, um, especially compared to THC and CBD, but that's changing. There's a lot of research being done on CBD now, or CBN. CBN is being shown to have great potential for people who have sleep problems. It works by interacting within the endocannabinoid system to induce relaxation, brain function, balanced brain function in particular, and promote healthy sleep. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, anti-convulsive effects, antibacterial effects, and neuroprotectant qualities.
So there you have it. My final thoughts. CBD is an important molecule. I'm a big fan of it. I've studied it for years now, wrote a book about it, and I see clients all the time uh, who are benefiting from CBD. CBC, CBG, and CBN are the next important molecules that you will see more in research, in the media, and maybe on the market. Uh, CBN is being used on the market right now, and I think CBG is as well. So I'm Dr. Jim. Keep coming back for more information because I'm going to take deeper dives into the world of academic and medical research to figure out what is going on. Take care. Thank you for watching the video. And I'd like to show you my new book, Living Longer and Stronger with CBD. It took me about a year and a half to write as I scanned hundreds of articles in prestigious journals, peer-reviewed medical studies, examining the effects of CBD for various physical conditions, emotional and mental issues, and neurodegenerative conditions. And I condensed all of those findings into one book. I believe that there's something in here for everyone. So, if you're interested, follow the link to the book on Amazon. Thank you so much.